So you might have a family law problem, but can this court hear your case? In order for the family court to hear your case, they must have two things, subject matter jurisdiction and personal matter jurisdiction. Let's explore both. Subject matter jurisdiction is when the court has the jurisdiction to actually hear the case and grant your relief. In order for a Texas court to hear your divorce, let's say, the Texas court has residency restrictions. That means that you must live in Texas for six months, at least six months, preceding the filing of the lawsuit and in your specific county for at least 90 days prior to filing this lawsuit. If you don't live in the county, your spouse must live in that county that you are trying to file in. This is called subject matter jurisdiction. Now that you have subject matter jurisdiction, that doesn't mean you get to file. You might not have personal jurisdiction over the party that you are suing. The court must have jurisdiction over all of the parties or persons involved in the case. That means that they have availed themselves to the laws of Texas. How we figure that out is by something called minimum contacts or the long arm jurisdiction statute over non-residents of Texas. So non-residents of Texas can still be sued in Texas if the courts have personal jurisdiction over them. Simply put, Texas court will always have personal jurisdiction over a Texas citizen. However, if you don't live here in Texas, the court still may have jurisdiction over you if you satisfy a few tests. These are called minimum contacts, meaning you do business with Texas or you have contacts with Texas that rise to the level that Texas can say, we have jurisdiction to make decisions regarding regarding you, even though you don't live here. The basis of jurisdiction over non-residents is codified in section 159.201 of the Texas Family Code. This means that Texas will have jurisdiction over you if you have been served in the state of Texas, or if you filed an answer submitting yourself to jurisdiction in Texas by filing some sort of pleading in the case. There are exceptions to this rule if you file something called a special exception. There are some other ways as well. If you have resided with the child of the suit in the state of Texas, then Texas will have jurisdiction over you. Or if you have resided in Texas and provided prenatal support for the child, then Texas will have jurisdiction over you as well. Texas will also have jurisdiction over you if you have engaged in sex in Texas that may have resulted in that child being born. Another way is if you have completed a paternity action or you have completed registering with the Vital Statistics Office in Texas stating you are a parent of a child. There are other ways that the court can find that you have satisfied minimum contacts with the state or you have satisfied enough for them to say you have personally submitted yourself to the jurisdiction of Texas, therefore Texas can make orders that impact your life. It is very important that if you get served and you are a non-resident of Texas and you've been served with a lawsuit in Texas, that you hire an attorney. Jurisdictional issues can be very tricky. You can waive personal matter jurisdiction. You cannot waive subject matter jurisdiction. But if you file an answer in a lawsuit, which is required whenever you are served with a lawsuit, it will say you have 20 days to file an answer. You might want to jump the gun, file an answer very quickly in this case. However, if you are a non-resident of Texas, they may not have personal jurisdiction over you. It is very important to hire a skilled attorney in these specific areas that knows whether or not they do have personal jurisdiction over you, whether or not we need to file something to get this case kicked out of Texas and filed in the state you live in. While jurisdiction can be a tricky matter, we have very skilled attorneys here at Varghese Somerset that are happy and willing to help you with these problems and get your lawsuit figured out and on the right track of where it needs to be. Give us a call at 817-900 3220 or visit us on our website, familytexas.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, you can find us at familytexas.com.